Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the application Link Bubble. It's from the developer Chris Lacey and it's essentially a mobile browser but it does things quite a bit differently to the other mobile browsers out there and it also has a pretty elegant way of opening up links from applications like Twitter or Facebook. Now of course there are two versions, one of them is the free version, the other one is the premium version. I'm actually using the premium version in this video so some of the features you see in this video may be for premium users only so take that into account. As always the links are included in the description so yeah let's go ahead and check it out. Now normally when you in an application like Google Plus you'll be navigating around and eventually you'll come across an article you actually want to click and if you do that you'll see you'll be taken away from Google Plus it loads up Google Chrome and all you can do is really sit here and wait for the content to actually load up there's not much else you can do now if we open that same link in link bubble you'll see how it handles it a little bit differently we'll click it you'll see this little bubble appear and this is where it's doing all the heavy lifting in the background while it's doing that you can still navigate your Google Plus feed so you're not just sitting around waiting for it to load doing nothing you can still catch up on other articles and when it's loaded up you'll see it comes to the foreground and you can go ahead and navigate that link you can read all about it and then press back and you're still in your Google Plus so you really never left Google Plus and you weren't just waiting around waiting for content to appear on your screen again if you're in an application like Twitter and you get an Instagram link you'll see that if you click it you'll be redirected to Chrome and then eventually you'll be redirected to the application Instagram and really annoyingly if you press back now you'll see that you don't go back to Twitter you're actually gone back to that redirected page from Chrome and you have to press back again to go back to Twitter which is uh, a little bit cumbersome and really not very elegant at all now if we open up that same Instagram link with link bubble you'll see how effectively it handles it boom little bubble appears and we're straight into Instagram all the heavy lifting all the redirecting was done in the background and as an added bonus if you press back here you're straight back into Twitter. You don't have to go to a blank Google Chrome page and press back again. It also allows you to open up multiple links if you're on the premium version, and that's just as simple as pressing the different links you wanna open. You'll see them all start to load in the background here. Once one of them completes, again, it will bring it to the foreground and you can actually switch between those. You can see right there. So this one's finished. You can navigate that one around, or you can just switch between them as they're loading. If you wanna close an individual one, you can just press back on the one you want to close and it will disappear. If you want to close them all, you can grab the bubble and bring it over the X you'll see the caption that says close all let go and boom they're all closed if you press and hold the bubble it gives you some additional options you can see in the top right hand corner it allows you to share the link top left hand corner right now is set to share with Facebook but if you have something like pocket installed you can actually save it to your pocket and view the link later if you dive into the application UI it gives you some interesting information on how much time it saved you per link if you click that it tells you how much time it saved you overall if we dive into the settings you can change things like what content is automatically displayed you can change that left bubble and the right bubble if you want a different application for those uh, bubbles at the top you can you can do that and you can also change the default app so if you don't want something to open up in Instagram you can uh, you can remove that that's uh, completely up to you you've got things like tech zoom incognito mode and clear private data as well so there you go guys I've been really impressed with this application especially in its handling of links I think it's a really unique way and it does work really well so yeah let me know what you guys think peace out